Hey, my name is Mr. Demetrio, and I'm going to be leading a group of scouts on a hike at Shelby Farms Park this coming Sunday at 1 p.m. And this is to satisfy the second class requirement for hiking with a compass and a, and a map, which is 3B. Uh, I think there's about five or six scouts that still need this requirement. So if you're the parents of one of those scouts, this video is for you. If you already have the requirement and just like to hike, then... Uh, Come on, we'd love to have you. Uh, Mr. Winkler is going to be the other scout leader with me, so uh, we'll have two scouts there, but you know, parents, you're welcome to participate in this too. I kind of wanted to go over uh, one of the things, one of the questions I had when I was a new scout parent was how to pack for a camp out. Well, I feel like I've got that down pat. Now, camping for a day hike, which this is going to be a five-mile hike, maybe a little bit longer, it's going to be kind of like camping or packing for a camp out, but a little bit lighter. So I want to give you guys some ideas on what you want to pack for this hike. Uh, first things first, uh, any scouts that are going to participate need to have a permission slip signed. I emailed these to the parents of the scouts I know that are going. So if you could print those out while you're at work or when you get home tonight, have your scout fill it out, their portion, and sign it, and then you sign it, and have them bring it to the troop meeting tonight, that would be a load off of my shoulders there. It's uh, That's one of the things we always end up getting last minute. I'm guilty of it. My son's guilty of it. But if we could go ahead and get that taken care of tonight, that'd be great. Another thing I put in the email is the map that your scout will be using during the camp out. I mean, not camp out, during the hike. And there's two pages to it. So if you could have them print that out. And also, we're going to be doing this hike, rain or shine. Now, there is a... Uh, a lightning risk reduction policy that the BSA has that we'll be adhering to. Nobody wants to be struck by lightning, especially me, or have a tree fall on them or anything. So we will strictly adhere to that policy if rain is in the forecast. So uh, I emailed that to the parents as well. So let me know if you have any questions about that. So uh, let's get on to the fun stuff. Uh, the first thing that I put on the list for your scout to have is a Class B uniform one. Actually, that's the last thing I put on the list. But um, they need to have a Class B uniform on, which is basically a shirt that has Boy Scout related something on it. Uh, the shirt that I'm wearing here is the Kayakima Summer Camp shirt from 2016. That would be a Class B shirt. Uh, I recommend that they wear their Scout shorts uh, to this hike because they have extra pockets and things that they can hold stuff in. It might make things a little bit easier on them. So uh, definitely the Scout shorts are, are a good idea. Uh, nice socks that go up to, uh, you know, maybe the calf or uh, right under the knee if they want. We'll be hiking in some wooded areas, and that'll help keep bugs off of their legs, bugs that like to crawl up from the ground like some ticks. Uh, you know, that won't stop the ones that fall from the trees, but still. And then, uh, so yeah, that's basically what to wear. Now, if it's raining, highly recommend hiking boots. Then, uh... You know, but some old some old uh, tennis shoes would be okay. Not so much if it's raining. If it's not supposed to rain, then that would be good. The uh, the hiking boots, though, definitely if it's going to be raining, if you have some, that's going to be a must. Now, the first item the first item I recommend them having is a cinch sack. And I like this Adidas cinch sack because it's got the main pocket here, and it's got two pockets on the sides, and a zipper pocket in the middle. And that way they can just you know reach in, grab something cinch it up, put it around their back, and move on. Uh, so the other thing they're going to need, like I said, is the Shelby Farms map. So make sure that they have that somewhere in the in the pack. A uh, couple of other necessities, sunscreen and bug spray. Not that they'll necessarily need an entire can of it, but it's going to be good to have uh, just in case your son has fair skin or is susceptible to ticks and mosquitoes. I highly recommend the bug spray anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in my bag. Uh, the next thing that I would like, since this is going to be a map and compass uh, hike, then a compass would be a good idea for them to pack. I don't know if we have any in the storage room for them to use, but this would be a, a good idea for them to have. If we do, I'll certainly make sure that I grab them tonight and have an extra one or two. But you can get these at Walmart for about five bucks. They're not expensive. And there's another type of compass that you can get that is, uh, it's flat. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, you use it a lot to orient a map. And uh, that one will work fine as well. 
Uh, just not something that's like a little cheap, something that you got on a freebie at, uh, at Incredible Pizza or something like that. Uh, something that, you know, like this is fine. But like I said, I'll do my best to uh, have an extra one available if we need that. So that's going to go in my cinch sack as well. Okay, the next thing that I would recommend is a hat of some sort. I really like these floppy hats. They do a good job of keeping the sun off of my bald head since I don't have any hair. This acts like a sunscreen to me. But a baseball hat is fine. Just something to keep the sun out of their, out of their faces would be good. Along with that, sunglasses. Sunglasses will be nice. There will be some times where we're going to be hiking across fields and uh, the sun can be pretty bright if it's going to be a sunny day. These don't necessarily have to go into the cinch sack. You can put those, they can carry that, wear them, uh, you know, save some space in the cinch sack. Uh, the next thing, in case it rains, even if it's not supposed to rain, one thing that is constant in Memphis in the summertime, hot temperatures and a chance of afternoon thunder showers. So a poncho is a great thing to keep with you, just in case, this is little, uh, you know, sometimes people can have an anorak or something like that. Those only go down to your waist. This will cover you down to your, uh, probably around to your thighs or your knees. So just in case it rains, that's a good thing to put in the cinch sack. Next thing, this should have been the first thing on the list, is a full water bottle. Uh, the 32 ounce Nalgene for the Scouts is a great idea because we can kind of measure how much they've been drinking. And uh, 32 ounces on a hot day is going to be uh, probably not enough, but it'll be a good start. And we'll be stopping by places that we can get some extra water, so that'll be a, a good thing. This is a 48-ounce bottle. If the Scouts kind of think they're boring, I mean, obviously you can tell that I've put some Darth Vader stickers on it, Kayakima, I loved Eno, I'm part of BNI, some things that kind of identify this as my bottle. So that's something that can be fun for the Scouts to do, but they need to have a water bottle. The, uh, the next thing is a small camera. If they have their cyber chip, and I'm not sure how many scouts will have their cyber chip, they can use their cell phones as a camera. But if they don't have their cyber chip, they'll need to have a small camera if they want to take pictures. Uh, if, we're going to be working on cyber chips probably in another month or so, but uh, if they want to take pictures, this is going to be a good thing. Otherwise, they'll have to have a scout who has a cyber chip take the picture for them and send it, and that's just going to take too much time. So that's going to go in one of the side pockets here of my bag. Uh, a small roll of toilet paper. Uh, this is actually a full roll of toilet paper. I always like to take the, the cardboard tube out. They're not going to need this much. And it's there's going to be, uh, what do you call it, porta potties nearby. Now, the only thing about porta potties, there's no guarantee there's going to be toilet paper in them. So I would recommend them put it in a bag. If it's a smaller roll, you could actually use a smaller Ziploc bag. But, uh, and plus, I hate the I hate the junk toilet paper that they put in those porta potties when they do have them. So, you know, something a little softer, that kind of thing, would be a good thing to do. That goes in the cinch sack. Okay, a small snack. We're probably going to be on this hike for two and a half, three hours, maybe. I don't know, maybe even longer. It just depends on how fast we're moving. So, something that is wrapped and sealed is a great thing to bring. Something like this, granola bar. Uh, you know, something that's going to be a small amount of trash. They will have to keep up with their trash and wait until they throw it away in a receptacle. But uh, there's nothing there's nothing that stinks worse than being hot and sweaty and hungry. So if they have a little snack just to keep them going, that's going to be a, a great thing. And I'm going to put that in the middle pocket of my cinch sack. Okay, the next thing is a small personal first aid kit. Now there's a tenderfoot requirement to build a big first aid kit that you take with you on campouts. I would recommend if they don't have that requirement done to go ahead and do something like this and their Boy Scout handbook will have that in there. However, for the hike, they don't need to carry all this stuff. A few band-aids, some antiseptic wipes, some antibiotic ointment, and uh, some moleskin. Maybe a little thing of, a little thing of uh, hand sanitizer would be a good thing too, but you don't need to have a whole bunch of stuff. I'll be carrying some, uh, like an ace bandage with me or something like that in case they need that. But you can get a much smaller container and then that would go in the bag. I'm not going to put this in there because that's not the one I'm going to be, I'm not going to be carrying all that stuff. Okay, the uh, the next thing, an extra pair of socks. This is important if you're 
scout socks get really sweaty or uh, you know, they start maybe getting blisters or something like that. Something they can be a little more comfortable. They can change out of their old socks, put these on, have a fresh pair, and you'll. it does wonders for uh, making your feet feel a little bit better anyway. So maybe halfway through it's a good idea to do as well. But I'm going to put that put that in the cinch sack, especially if, it's getting, if, it, if it rains, then they'll need to, uh, they may need to have that as well. I don't have my son's Boy Scout handbook with me, but they should bring that, stick that in the bag, but it needs to be in a Ziploc bag to keep it, uh, to keep it dry. Uh, even if it's not raining, it needs to be in a Ziploc bag. I, I know we have a number of scouts in the troop that keep their Boy Scout handbook in a plastic Ziploc bag 24-7 unless they're reading it or using it. So, highly recommend that they that they do that. Uh, I would also bring five dollars. Sometimes the uh, ice cream man rolls through there and honestly I don't want to deal with telling a whole bunch of scouts no you can't have ice cream when they really want ice cream. So uh, sometimes that can be more of a distraction so if they want to bring five dollars with them uh, happy to, to, to let them do that if we're within reach of the ice cream man we're not going to go out of our way to get ice cream. Okay lastly and I think all the scouts have this I'd recommend bringing some kind of a pocket knife. Now, some examples, this is for the parents, some examples of pocket knives that are allowed in the Boy Scouts are, are folding knives like this one that, uh, that lock in place when you extend them. Uh, another one, like some, some kind of Swiss Army knife is good, a multi-tool a multi device. Sheath knives are not allowed. This is like one of those old 1980s Rambo knives. This one is not Boy Scout approved, so if they're bringing something like this on the on the hike, we're not going to let them take it. And the last thing that I can think of that would be a good idea for them to bring would be a notepad and a pen. Something small that they can write notes in if they see something that they want to uh, you know, draw or take notes about or just jot down some thoughts, then I would recommend that they put this in their bag as well, just so they'll have it with them. Pen's always a good idea for when they have that book and they want me to sign off on something, say like second class 3B, which is a hike with compass and map. And uh, I think that might be about it. If you have any questions about what your scout needs to bring or about the hike in general, I'm going out there today to, to uh, find a place for us to meet. So I'll, I'll send that out in an email later. But I can't think of anything else that I need to cover. If you can, send me an email, comment below, and let me know what you think. Talk to you later.